Hello everyone and welcome to something other than G.I. Joe Classified on this channel. We'll be taking a look at Beasts of, of the Mesozoic Raptor Series. One six scale dinosaur action figure. Specifically the, now I may be saying this wrong, but the Sagan Mangas. I have no idea if I said that right. Um, but here's some information. I've been following his work uh, very closely um, since like 2020 when they saw the work um, these people were doing. Uh, we have Design, Sculpt, and Paint by David Silva. Additional Paint, Matt Holt. We have Package Art, Jonathan Cool or Cud. No, that's an O. So Cool Prototypes, Jeremy Mons. Great. Uh, you can check out more of their product on their website. Highly recommend it. These these um, dinosaur action figures are top notch. A bit pricey, but I think what you get is worth the price. Here we have 26 points of articulation. Very great. Realistic movement and detail. Display base and stand included. I believe this is number three of their Raptor series. Um, this one, this one was on sale, and so, you know, I kind of took the opportunity and got one. Uh, we have a little bio here, so let's read it. Some nice art as well, and on the side over here, you know, the raptor, the logo, very nice. But let's read up on the raptor here that we got. <clears throat> the white monster. Uh, length, 2 meters, which is 6.6 .6 feet long, so... Pretty big boy there. Location, Horseshoe Canyon Formation, Southwest Canada. I don't know what the SW is. Maybe some city. I'm not too sure. I'm not Canadian. Time period, 75 million years ago. Habitat, the Mongolian Gobi Desert, Northern China. Which is, you know, years apart. Continents shift. And that's why I guess we find them in... Canada, I'm not too sure. Distinguishing characteristics known from a single skull and neck vertebrae. Sa Sagan was originally identified as a spe species specimen of the Velociraptor until being placed in its own genus and species. So that's very interesting there. And now we know more about this dinosaur, this animal creature. And of course, here are the different raptors that you can get and they all look great and colorful this was one of the other ones i planned on getting just because i like the red the bright red very nice but i think i'll wait till they make uh a pyro raptor which speaking of they already have so i'll have to look for one but yeah pyro raptor i want to get one of those and of course the basic the lost raptor um that would be nice. We have a Trosseraptors. That would be another cool one. And this is another sort of Velociraptor. So, you know, those are my go-tos. Um, you know, would be nice to get those. But anyway, enough talking. <laughs> Let's actually get this thing out of the box. Very nice box. So, I guess I'll cut when he's out of his box. Just to make this more... Um, a more fun experience where you will cut it open while recording. You know, get that first seal experience. Here's the flap. And here it comes. Very nice. That's very nice background here. Let me see if I can take this out. Oh, yes, you can. Yes, you can. So that just leaves you with the plain box inside. But you have this nice sort of diorama back piece. Very nice. It is kind of not the highest quality, but that's fine for its purposes. We'll put it back here. And this is the tray and all of its contents. Very nice. Uh, for sure, this time I'll just take everything out of the box and then we'll jump into accessories. All right, so here we have everything out of their boxes I guess or plastic trays 
we have the tail here which is bendy wired as you can see and tell by those holes in there obviously this is the top so very bendy can go side to side this is my first time handling it so i won't be as rough with it but it's very nice it's all the way up to this other end bendy wire and i did just drop one of the poles here um because it sticks up and you can peg it into that or this one over here or this one which i'm not sure how these work maybe like that yeah you plug it in and okay nice ball joint you can swivel them and so these are gonna support the dinosaur when you put them on the base these other ones are like toes i think it's more for specific um, positions so we'll try these out but to quickly get a close look at these they're nicely sculpted nice paint on the claws yeah overall well done you know looks like an actual animal foot or toes and then we'll take a close look at the base itself which kind of it takes up the entire screen here but yeah very nicely sculpted painted get some rock a few desert plants which is very nice you know i live out in the desert so you know kind of fitting that i got this raptor here and then this here this stick should go in here there it goes kind of scared because it is kind of flimsy plastic but there it is and it's a, a ball joint so it can rotate around so that's basically the accessories we got with this guy uh let's take a closer look at the raptor itself all right so here we are and we are going to essentially put this guy together and complete the look i don't know how tough this is going to be oh pretty easy soft plastic goes in there ball joint already so let's just take our time with this guy and explore what he has to offer in terms of accessories i mean not accessories articulation and all that good stuff he, he looks menacing already it feels so good it's such good quality you can feel the quality right off the bat very nice claws and everything feathers are well made very nicely loads of articulation on this guy even more than the mattel uh, amber collection and hammond collection now so there's that a nicely hidden joint here at the neck you can close his mouth not all the way up but that's fine mostly everybody likes their dinosaurs roaring but that's also fine with me sort of a snarling or just looking around kind of look that looks amazing yeah i'm kind of speechless right now guys um don't worry there there will be commentary well let's get articulation out of the way because i really want to look at the detail on this guy you can open his mouth about that much and close it about that much no weird clickety things so you can adjust it wherever you want very nice you have like i mentioned he does have a cut here but that's nothing that can move there but he does have a hidden i assume these are all ball joints i think yeah but very nicely hidden by this plumage here you get another is this a ball joint in here i think it is i'm not too sure but it does sort of wiggle around gives you a little extra more movement uh, the arms can come up that much pretty good <clears throat> the elbow here can extend that much and that much in and the 
hands can also pivot. I don't think they're on hinges. No, they just pivot that about that much. You have, I guess, lower torso here. It can also rotate. It can move side to side very nicely. You have very slim, you know, dinosaur as it should be. But its hips are, or legs are, on these paw joints as well, so they can go in and out. It can go up, depending on how much you want to push it, about there, and back a whole lot, probably even more. Um, the knee, or whatever section you want to call this, goes back about that much. Forward, a little bit more. There you go, you can straighten that out. And then you can, you have sort of a foot area here, ankle area, and then your your claw here can also pivot on its own. We mentioned the tail. You can rotate about that much. There you go. And more ball joints. So very lovely figure. And it looks menacing. I want to try one of these stands here and see what we can do with it. This is probably more for like the tail maybe. Balance it on the tail. And then if you want it to cradle the entire dinosaur we can do that and position it above it. And there you go. It does a good job of it. We then have the extra toes which I was going to put on this guy. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing this right. I should be doing it right. Ooh, maybe it's a bit too tight. I don't want to break this right off the bat. But if it does, I think it's just more for a standing position maybe. I'm not too sure. Whereas this is more, I guess, tiptoeing around. And this one's kind of tough to get back on. So, yeah, there's that. I'm going to try and get this back on because it's kind of tough. There you go. Yeah, so I think this is more of a tiptoe, as you can see there. And then this is more flat, um, you know, kind of flatter walking stands. But, yeah, very nice detailing all over this guy. But, yeah, that will probably do it for this review. Very nice. Um, hopefully the lighting was better in this video. I did get an extra lamp, so that's already helping a ton, I feel like. Yeah, overall, there's very nice detailing all over this guy. You know, the nose, you get some paint there. Lovely inside of the mouth. The teeth and everything. Nicely sculpted and painted. I guess the sort of gum pink getting on the teeth is kind of bothersome for some people. This side's not so much. Uh, unfortunate, but it doesn't bother me. But yeah, everything nicely sculpted and painted. And of course, this is very accurate representations of dinosaurs for those who are looking for accurate depictions in toy form this is the way to go honestly can't recommend um the the i guess <laughs> the series or the company enough they they do a good job and they deliver here's a missed articulation point that swivels but yeah very nice I do feel like the paint kind of just stops at certain po moments and then it goes on to other things. But, like I said, it's not a big bother to me. So yeah, very nice tail there. So yeah, that's going to conclude the video review. I hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly had fun. Um, dinosaurs being my other passion, other than collecting action figures and all that stuff. You no, know, I get the best of both worlds. I get 
toys or dinosaurs in toy form. So there that is. Very nice. I'm going to have fun taking pictures of this guy. So yeah, that's going to do it for my video review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Consider liking, subscribing, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Psych! You thought it was the end of the video, but I have one last little portion here where it we um, just basically compare the sizes. Here we have the Mattel T-Rex. As you can see, that thing is massive. He is absolutely tiny. Now, please stand up. Stand up. He's not going to stand. We have the Ceratosaurus from Mattel as well. The Hammond Collection. So there that is. Relatively... You know, he's the same length as the Ceratosaurus. So there's that. I mean, none of these are to scale with each other. I believe this dinosaur was a bit taller, bigger than an actual house cat. So, I don't know, maybe I'll throw up an image comparing um, the dinosaur with the human or something of that nature. And then we have the Amber Collection, the Lost Raptor, and they are both about the same length, about so. The Mattel. Dinosaurs always had shorter tails, so I really love his long tail. But yeah, that's a size comparison. I managed to change the feet on this one, and these seem to be better for standing. But even then, I am having some trouble standing him up. But that's why you get a base, so that you don't struggle. Um, but I'm sure if you play, mess around with it, you can make him to stand. There he is standing with some support from his feathered hands. Now it's officially the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed and enjoy the images.